Hey guys, this is Ben back again uh, with you, and now I'm going to be doing a, a video for you in which I'm going to be reviewing a DVD this time, which, of course, I originally said that, like, in August or so, I was going to maybe do more of these, like, VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray reviews, but I never got into them, because, you know, I only did one so far with VHS tape, and that being the VHS of What Lies Beneath, which that's still up on my channel, you're more than welcome to go check that out, but... I never, uh, never, I mean, I had more planning in my head with more VHS DVDs and Blu-rays, but I never got into them, unfortunately. But I figured I'm going to be reviewing a DVD for you today, because today, since today's October 28th of this year, that means, uh, that means a famous celebrity is celebrating her birthday today, which she's turning 52. Um, so that's really great. Um, I do wish her happy birthday for that. And... Um, which is great. So yeah, and I'm also I'm also doing this as well because I didn't knew this until August. I want to say like early August, when I was I decided to kind of relive my child some of my childhood memories with some of the movies and shows we have. Well, not shows, mostly movies or programs and all that stuff. I was doing my childhood, and uh, and this film I encountered this film ever since I was about in January or February of 2004, so I knew this film for an extremely long time ever since then. It was before I turned two, so... So yeah, that's really hard to believe. So, and this year is 2019, so it marks 15 years since I last heard about this film. It's the my 15th anniversary of my inception to this movie, which, you know, was around that time. And that film, of course, the film I'm talking about the, the 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 movie the DVD I'm talking about is of course Mona Lisa Smile. Yep, this the person who is celebrating her 52nd birthday today is of course Julia Roberts herself. Yep, Julia Roberts has turned 52 today. So yep, I wish happy birthday to her. And this is the film I knew the longest. Yep, ever since I was ever since I was about to turn two years old, I have heard about this film because of the. There was a trailer for this film on my DVD of Daddy Daycare that we had a long time ago. I still have it to this day, the old copy of it. And this was, and for the previews that was on the DVD, this was one of them, along with Matilda, Annie, Radio, Peter Pan, The Master of Disguise, and the, and the trailer for Daddy Daycare itself. So, so yep, and this was one of them, which, because of that, this was my inception to... Julie Roberts, as well as my inception to PG-13 rated films, and it marks 15 years since I have last heard about this movie, so yeah, that's great. Chris, yep, not only stars Julia Roberts, but it also stars Kirsten Dunst, Julia Stiles, and Maggie Gyllenhaal. And it says down here, the best picture of the year by far, Mona Lisa Smile, will put a smile on your face, in your heart, and in your mind, by David Sheehan of CBS TV. Of course, this film mainly got mixed and negative reviews, but it does have a mix of positive reception by audiences, which is, which is good. So yeah, I mean it's really hard to believe since I knew about this film the longest, ever since two thousand four, around January to February two thousand four to be exact. But yep, here's a picture of Julie Roberts right there. Is Kathy Ann Watson? It's kind of blurred out. There we go. Um. And so yeah, that's the spine, and here's the back, and it says Mona Lisa Smile will light you up with laughter and love by Clay Smith of Access Hollywood. Of course, I could have done other films um, celebrate her birthday, because I know I could have done Aaron Brockovich or Pretty Woman or all that stuff, but I decided to do this film because this is the one that I knew the longest and also the most important for me just because I knew this film since I was a toddler. Because of Daddy Daycare, because I watched that film back then, and I still do to this day, and also back then as well, which is really you know, unbelievable. But anyways, it says, special features, our forum, college then and now, what woman wanted, 1953, the music video of The Heart of Every Girl by Elton John, and of course, filmographies. Um, so yeah, that's great stuff. Of course, not only it stars, you know, the four, but it also stars Dominic West, Juliet Stevenson and Marcia Gay Harden. Of course, other stars appear in this film, including Jennifer Goodwin, uh, John Slattery. Um, who else is in this? Uh, well, a couple other stars that are well known. Uh, well, not all of them, but a good amount of them are. But 
So yeah, this is great. This is a great DVD to have. I did used to have the Blockbuster, the one that came in the Blockbuster case back in February, but I got rid of that. So I managed to find this one before I got the day of I, I got first got first was first getting rid of it. But still, this is a great DVD, of course. And, uh, so yeah, of course I know a couple of YouTubers have this, along with the VHS, which I don't have the VHS, but it's, but it's still good. Now I'm going to show you the inside. Here's the disc, and here's the disc insert. It's not a chapter guide, even though I know it looks like one, but it's not. Because on the back it says, if you enjoyed this DVD, we recommend these other titles. Which includes My Best Friend's Wedding, America's Sweetheart, Stepmom, and Radio, which I have both of those on VHS and DVD. It says down here, join the Sony Pictures Network, SPN, for exclusive DVD news from Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment. Register now at www.sonypictures.com slash DVD news. And proof of purchase down there. Yep. This is also the film that also introduced me to Kirsten Dunst. Because this is before I saw Spider-Man. And Jumanji, this was way back before that. And then also Julia Stiles and Maggie Gyllenhaal and Marsha Gay Harden, which a little later, that's when I discovered Flubber, because, you know, she was in that. One of my, and also one of my first Robin Williams movies. So, yeah, there you, so, yeah, it's great stuff. And this, so, yeah, I do wish, uh, I do wish Julia Roberts happy birthday, which is great. And also, and... Also, um, happy anniversary to my first hearing of this film because it came since it came around in 2004. Of course, I was really born in 2002, but my inception to this film came around in early 2004. So, yeah, that's very great news and extremely unbelievable, and I'm thankful for it. Also, because of that, I'll show you really quick. This is a little thing I made little poster that I made oh hold on if I can get this off since uh since this year is my 15th anniversary of me first hearing about this film I made this little um like this little uh drawing this little poster I made which I did on my day off of school of Yom Kippur. I have a lot of drawing, a lot of stuff going on. The fireworks, the stars, and of course drawings of Julia Roberts, Kirsten Dunst, Julia Stiles, and Maggie Gyllenhaal. Both of their roles from the film. It says celebrating 15 years of a little bit more maturity. The reason why it says a little bit more maturity is because it's the first PG-13 rated film I've ever heard of. Ever. And then of course there's my signature. But yeah, it's really great stuff. In 2004, 2019, so yeah, 15 years. But yeah, this is a... And Mona Lisa Smile is a great film as well. Of course, I've done a movie review on this way back in May, so you're more than welcome to check that out on my channel. And that video has gotten over 100 views and 2 likes so far, so I congratulate you guys for that. I'm very thankful for that. But anyways... So yeah, it's great stuff. Because So there you go, that's my... Basically, my DVD review of Mona Lisa Smile, you know, for both Julie Roberts' birthday today, and also celebrating my 15th anniversary, my first hearing about this film since it came around back in around January or February of 2004, but it was before I turned two. So yeah, I knew about this film ever since I was a year old, which is really hard to believe, just about two years after I was a baby, um, after I was born. So yeah, that's that's extremely unbelievable and awesome as well. So yeah, you can tell that this film is kind of it's it's kind of important to me. It's a personal favorite of mine, of course. I mean, it's not too important for me, but it kind of is just because of all that. Since I knew, since I didn't discover it until you know August when I was reliving my childhood with daddy daycare. Um. So yeah, but anyways, there you go. And that's my review of the DVD of Mona Lisa Smile, and I'll see you again. Uh. Sometime soon, but we'll have to see. Um, so there you go.